I have this heart left over from Valentine's Day. I'm going to paint it in dry time. You can pretty much use any heart. I would recommend one that has a little thickness to it. I think this one is probably about a half an inch. I'm going to use this roll of sticky tape. This is in our tea rose. You can get this at chocolateoffancy.com. And I'm just going to kind of lay it on the one side, not full coverage. And I'm going to be using our white, chalky white chalk paste. And then remove that. This is a miter box and I'm going to take two shims and I'm going to shorten them. You can get shims right at Lowe's in a package. And if you're interested in a miter box, just ask in the comments and I'll post our Amazon affiliate link. And the length of your shims is going to depend on the heart that you choose. I took my shims and I painted them in our chocolate front and back. I found this circle. I had a bag full of different shaped pieces of wood from Hobby Lobby and I painted that in chocolate as well. I'm going to take this little, uh, this little stick piece of wood. It came in a bag of um, multiples from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to glue it at the base of my heart and then add the circle and then I'm going to glue my shims and this is the bottom part of the heart, but now we're, we've turned this upside down and this is going to be a roof line. I had this little embellishment. You can get these at most craft stores. And I started with something bright, like uh, this is um, rock steady. I went in with a little white, then a little brown. And I'm going to set that aside to dry while I take my copper gilding wax and put it a little bit on my stencil, which is raised, a little on my roof line. And you just take a little bit on your finger and you can grab the edges. And it's just gonna give interest and character to your project. I'm gonna finish my embellishment off with a little bit of white and glue it just under the roof line. I'm taking some white on this dabber and just grabbing the edges with my paint and just dabbing a little bit here and there with the leftovers to give it a little bit of a vintage vibe. And I did some of my copper gilding wax on my embellishment. I found these stakes at Dollar General and I'm gonna take two and glue them together. It's just going to give me a little bit more stability. And then I'm going to paint this in chocolate as well. Then I'm going to take some glue and glue it to the back side. And you can now stick this birdhouse into a pot outside or in the ground. But I'm just going to take this black pot that I have and use some floral foam put it inside, stick my birdhouse in this pot. You want something that's pretty sturdy. And then I'm going to fill my foam with some lamb's ear. And then I added this longer flower that I picked up at the Dollar Tree and put it in my floral foam as well. Then I found this word dream in my stash, painted it in white and added it. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chocolateoffancy.com for any paint products, tissue paper transfers. And now we have our cutouts, chocolateoffancy.com. Thank you so much.